Hello, thank you for joining me for another shave. Today is Sunday, I think it's, uh, what is it, September 3rd. Yes, it's September 3rd, and I'm going to be doing a face shave. I said I was gonna. I've got some new things to show you. I did go to an, uh, uh, a flea market today. Now, the guy that sold sells the razors he was not there and i looked around never find any razors but it wasn't a total wash i did find some aftershave and i did find a vintage avon aftershave that i'm going to use today that was unopened that's pretty cool and i'll show you that in a second i'm using a lot of vintage stuff today i also picked up some knives today brand new victorinox um the small one brand new in the box i paid a couple bucks for it and i found a knife I've been looking for since I was a boy that my, my uncle's got the same exact one. I'll show you here in a second. But I'm going to be using a single ring today. First shave with the single ring. I've been holding off to using it to try it with you guys. So go over that and tools of the shave. All right. All right. Here are the tools of today's shave. First off, I'm going to show you guys the stuff I picked up. Then we'll go over the tools. I went back to um that lady i got the first one of these from and she had another one so i've got two of the wild country in the car now which is pretty cool she had a vintage boar brush that was really nasty uh, i didn't pick it up now the knives i was just talking about here's the first one it's an american made uh knife it says i think uh the heel or i i can't uh let me see if the camera will. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But my uncle uses one of these for dressing game. And it's is all he's ever used his whole life. And I, uh, I've been looking for one. It's either the head or the heel. It's made by the Imperial Knife Company. This is old. The other thing I picked up was a brand new in the box Swiss Army knife. It's got some kind of, uh, I think it's a Chinese New Year edition. Here's the box. A couple bucks. Awesome. I was looking for one for my keychain. Now, on to the tools of the shave. First off, the single ring. First shave with that today. I've been looking forward to the shave for quite a while. But I've had all other stuff to, I've had to review and do. So, we're going to do the single ring for the first time. For a blade, we're going to be using the feather on its 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. This will be its 10th shave. So I'm, I'm very impressed with this blade. For backup, I've got a Gillette um, Platinum made in Russia. For soap, we're going to be using the Vintage Larkin from Buffalo, New York. Shave stick. Cracking out a vintage razor. One of my oldest Gillettes. Might as well use... One of my oldest soaps. I got the synthetic DS Cosmetic because of consistency with the lather. And for an aftershave, and you guys probably saw the shotgun shell, and you're thinking, what the heck are you doing with a shotgun? Well, it's not a, it is a shotgun shell, but it's Avon. It's wild country. And this is what they gave me at the, um, at the flea market. <laughs> you guys, I was just like, oh, what's that? He's like, oh, it's vintage Avon. I said, oh, I collect that. Oh, you can have it. <laughs> so, it's full, and uh, I'm happy about that. Got Dickinson's Witch Hazel for the post shave, and for coffee today, I am drinking Cafe Bostello. I need a little bit of a kick. So, to load a blade in one of these single rings, it is a three-piece design. Now, there is one model before this. It's the double ring, and that was the first commercial uh, Gillette. And then at some point they switched to the single ring because it was easier to manufacture. This one happens to date from 1920. It's a three piece. It's got a barrel at the bottom here that will fall out. So you need to be careful. It's not like a Merker or one of them that's got a little clip to hold the barrel in. Some of them, the early ones, have the serial number on the barrel. This one has it on the plate. And this does have one bent tooth, as you can see. Now, how I load this, and you need to be careful because, remember, these were meant for the three-hole blades. In fact, I think there's one here. I'll show you the difference um, real quick. Because this is good to know if you get into these vintage Gillettes, 
that they were meant for a different blade. They look like this. And I'm going to show you the difference between... Oh, that one's cracked. I'll get another one out. There we go. I'll show you the difference. Open up this uh, feather. Let me uh, notch it here first. And this 10th use on there. There's another one. Sorry for bumping the camera with the pen. Let's open this up. I hope this keeps going, this blade, because I am impressed with it. So this is what a new manufacturer blade looks like. Very thin. And this is what the original Gillette blades were. Just three holes in a thick piece of carbon steel. This is stainless steel. This is coated. This is what modern blades... Remember, there was all kinds of... Um, improvements to the blade technology and all that stuff along the way and this is the apex of it with double edge i'd say it's got the slot in the center that came along with the new models and um i think there was even the goodwill that had the squares for the square posts and pro back and if you're interested in gillette history uh go back and research it but as you can see on the top cap there's just two posts in the center post and what I do is I drop it down I drop the base plate and then I tighten it down not overly tighten because these single rings are prone to crack now let's look how does the blade exposure look and if you look on this side it is um, it's got a little more blade exposure than the other side. So I'm going to fix it here so it's nice and even. So I get a nice and even shave. Uh, and I'm doing this off camera. I will show you here what it looks like. And if I can't get it, what I will do is... Is I'll unscrew everything. Take the blade. And drop it down again. That's how I do it. I know you could sit there and fumble with it. So, uh, that looks good. Looks good. All right. Let's get on to the shave. All right. Let's get on with this uh, shave here. I got the Larkin right here. Let me see how do you guys look. Maybe I can give you a little adjustment so you got a better. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's get this Larkin out. This stuff is old. It's tallow soap. That's all that's left to it, just a little nubbing. But I uh, crack it out for a for special shaves and all that kind of stuff. And this is a special shave. I have been looking for a single ring for a very long time. I'm just, got hot water in my um, container for the stubble, so I just warm brush. And uh, I just noticed I do not have a septic pencil with me. So I hope this shave goes well. <laughs> I don't see why it wouldn't. I've got a little bit of growth than normal. Sometimes I like to shave every other day, every day. I know I needed it because uh, I get I start getting a bad seal with my CPAP mask. I also forgot a towel. I'll have to grab one at the end here. And more water. Try uh, lathering right off with a little piece here. Oh, that's better. Making a mess, but hey. 
I'm going to give it a pass, though. I mean, it's a hundred and something years old. Probably pushing well over a hundred, probably close to a hundred and ten, maybe, so. We'll see how the slickness is. Should have grabbed some, uh, the Colgate for backup, but I just did a Colgate. And it's shave, how's we looking? Just double check, always double check with these. Everything's tight, and let's give this a try. This is considered the old type. And this is the first old type I'm shaving with that doesn't have bent teeth. Well, oh, and it's nice. This feather's still going strong. Wow. What do you think about aggression? I don't know yet. We'll see. Also, that lather catcher I told you guys about, he wouldn't budge on the price, even with cash there. He says, oh, I'll put it on eBay. I said, okay. So if you see a uh, hero lather catcher in really bad shape pop up on eBay and it's listed in from New York, well, you know. That's the one. Ah, this blade's starting to uh, give up the go. And I am uh, watching my brother's dog, so if you hear me, I'll shut the, uh, the window here so we don't hear him. He's Cocker Spaniel. Mix. I took off a blemish. Yeah, this may be the last shave for this feather. We'll see. But I am liking this single ring. All right. A little bit of water to the brush. Yeah, it's fading. I'll, uh, I'll hit the puck again. This is why I went with the DS Cosmetic Synthetic. All right, where you go. Hope all has been well with all of you. Mean. Things are great. I got a, uh, interview with a HVAC company this week so I might be getting my wish going out of retail finally all right rinse off okay side green I gotta catch up on you guys' videos. I've been busy. Uh, is that the bed? Uh, no, okay. I also meant to put up a lather catcher head shave for you guys the other day, but uh, 
Yeah, as you can tell, I got a couple spots here. I, uh, it didn't go well. And that was with the new gem PFE coated blades. Alright, flip it around. Yeah, I think uh, 10 is, yeah, 10 is about where it's at with this feather, I think. It's starting to tug. I'll save it for one more. Maybe it'll have enough to go 11. We will see. So, all right, let's lather up again a little bit and do a third pass. A little water. Just around the cheeks. I'm not gonna, you know, I will. I'll try it against the grain on the upper lip, even though I don't have a septic pencil. I wanna gauge the aggression of this razor. Some people say it's aggressive. Some people say it's not. So I wanna find out for myself. And as for the handle, it's it's familiar to me because you know why? What does this handle from, from the ring up remind me of? It reminds me of a super speed. The 40 super speed. And I'm guessing this is what they were trying to imitate with the knurling and all that stuff. Oh yeah, this blade's done. It's starting to catch and drag. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Oh, come on. Ten shades from a blade. Eh, this side still got a little bit of life. Ooh, that's that's a close shave. That is close. Fishing, very efficient. Yeah, let me see any trouble spots. Do a pickup uh, pass today with the witch hazel. Okay, Dickinson's, or, you know, what am I doing? Hold on. Gotta rinse my face off. Let me grab a uh, towel here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I got a bunch of it on sale. I'm not feeling any irritation, except for that spot, so. What a nice shave. VVS up here, up here. DFS right here. I, my hair goes swirly right there. And down on the neck as well. I'm not gonna push it though. All right, 
And lastly, this Avon Wild Country. It's called the Good Shot Winchester Super X Shotgun Shell. <laughs> Bet a Winchester collector would be all over this kind of stuff. All right. It's got a small restrictor. Let's see. A uh, couple drops. Ah, oh, nice smell. Wild Country is a good scent. So, what do I think about the single ring? For me, it's awesome. I, it's not too aggressive, at least my version, this particular um, example. I've got that brownie or um, old, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we'll see, because that's mint. The, uh, the combs, I'm going to call this feather dead at 10. So, whoever it was that said they got a lot of life out of a feather, you were right. Um, I mean, this is an example of one blade, but 10 shaves out of a feather blade, I am not complaining one bit. This also, I want to mention about this single ring is it is silver plated. There's older ones that are gold and uh, the top caps changed. I guess they got thicker. This is towards the end of the, uh, the first run production. So, the Larkin, good as always. Yeah, if you don't have a single ring and you're into vintage Gillette's, you should try to find one at a reasonable price. Um, I got mine locally, online. It's a it's a crapshoot with, uh, you know, people think they're worth a lot of money, and which some of them are, the earlier ones, I guess, like the double rings and all that kind of stuff. Do I want a double ring? No. I'm perfectly fine with just a single ring. Um, yeah. So, all right. Great shave. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and rest of your week. I will see you guys on next Sunday with a Star Model 100 shave. That will be the viewer cho choice number two shave. And uh, so, yeah. I will uh, let you guys know if I pick anything else. I don't really plan to. I'm going to restrain myself this month. And uh, so, yeah. You guys take care out there and happy shaves.